Hi there, and welcome to the Future Technologies Conference here in Vancouver, Canada. With me, Bojan Nokovic, to talk about his research projects. So tell us, Bojan, what are you working on currently? Uh, currently, I am involved in uh, two research projects. One is with uh, Dr. Sekrinsky from McMaster University, Hamilton, Canada. We uh -huh. are working on the probabilistic timing analysis for, for the models uh, generated from hierarchical state chart. So that's my uh, uh, research project for a long time, so we are keep going. But uh, in last year, I joined a startup company, Mariner and the Surgery, uh -huh. and we are uh, working on uh, augmented laparoscopic surgery. Okay. And uh, that's extremely interesting project. Now I'm working on the cyber robotic arm to be used to calibrate laparoscopic tools and uh, also I'm a uh, little bit involved in a predictive analytics project. Okay. Uh, this is a project that will make life of surgeons easier and better, uh -huh. we hope. So we are, uh, I don't know if you are familiar with laparoscopic surgery, that's, uh, that's a procedure uh, so-called minimally invasive surgery that is performed through small incisions on the body. So surgeons insert long tools inside the body and uh, perform uh, surgery by looking at the overhead monitor. Picture is projected by endoscopic camera. So th that's re that requires very uh, special skills because there is no natural uh, hand-eye coordination. Everything is like in a mirror. And it's possible that surgeons sometimes make mistake to touch a tissue that is not actually supposed to be touched. And those tools are very sharp and hot sometimes and so on. So what we do, we provide the tool to the surgeon that he can use to draw 3D safe zone, that's virtual zone in which he expects his tools to be during the procedure. So before the procedure, a uh, surgeon takes like 10-15 seconds to draw the zone and when he inserts his tools he will see actually position of his tools inside the safe zone and that will actually uh, help him not to make mistake and it will get warning if his tools are getting out of that area where supposed to be. In making this happen, what are the challenges that you are facing? Uh, in addition to some uh, technical challenges, we have a so-called attitude problem of uh, we, when we approach some elderly surgeons, they said we don't like this technology. I, I work as a surgeon for 20 years, never had any problem. I don't need to draw any safe zone. Younger surgeons are more open and the surgeons that had some kind of issues before, they are also open to this, this technology. So that's kind of uh, more kind of cultural problem than technology problem, but that's, that's normal. I think uh, uh, technology uh, development is evolutionary. And that is a process that actually we change technology and technology change us. So. Okay. Um, now we are here at the Future Technologies uh, Conference. If you take a look, uh, let's say in about 10 years time, how do you think that technology will change our lives in 10 years time? Yeah, I think next big thing that is coming is a 5G network. Uh, we used to say that data is new oil. When we connect up to 100 billion devices, we'll have data flowing around. And there is enormous opportunities with this technology. Uh, one professor from uh, Berkeley, uh, Edward A. Lee, recently wrote a very interesting book. I'm I'm not going to tell the name, but people can research. And he said, uh, we are now at the point where software is not only limited by uh, physical limitation, that is always the case, but also by our imagination. And now we can say sky not, is not anymore a limit. Our imagination is a limit. And if, if, if you look at the conference so far, how do you like it? Uh, it's very nice conference. I'm so surprised. So many uh, interesting people. I uh, visited many conferences so far, but this one has a touch of, I believe, some kind of philosophical 
uh, point, people are looking more in the future. It's not only technical problem, but also many other problems like uh, how people will accept technology, how technology will evolve as you ask in 10 years and so on. So these are very, very interesting topics. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you very much. And you, ladies and gentlemen, if you're interested in more interviews, we have some great stuff about some brilliant research. Please take a look at the website and see our videos.